What's up guys, hope you all are having a great day today. We're going to be revisiting an old topic here. Now I made a video on something similar to this in the past. It was basically this guy by the name of PC Gaming is Dead. And he goes to like every single YouTube video that's like console versus PC related. And he literally just spams the same comment over and over and over again like every single day for months at a time like this dude is dedicated he officially has no life i can guarantee you that but a while back i made a video responding to basically his console fanboy manifesto on why consoles were definitively better than pc gaming and well he has once again returned to my comment section and has basically begun spamming this list of 30 reasons why console gaming is definitively better than pc gaming so just take a look at this thing real quick. I mean, this man spared no expense when it came to time. Like, he literally wrote a novel explaining this. So, you know, I think the least we can do is go ahead and take a look at this very well-written argument of why console gaming is by far superior to PC gaming in every single way you can think of. Now, in addition to him spamming this list, there's another comment that he spams all the time as well. And let's go ahead and take a look at that first because it really sets the mood in terms of what we're going to be dealing with for the rest of the video here. PC palsies answer the question, how many bots? Boxes you check. Why is it every PC gamer falls into at least one of the following categories, and more often than not, all of them? Ignorant or just plain stupid? Child slash teen? Foreigner? Not from the USA? Poor? Developmentally disabled? Crap taste in games? And a nerdy virgin? I mean, Jesus Christ, this man's on to me. I checked every single box, bro. Like, it feels bad. I've been completely exposed. I'm just some poor foreigner who's a nerdy virgin with crap taste in games who's also developmentally disabled like it feels fucking bad bro but anyway you know let's keep going here i mean every pc gamer stereotype you can think of is on full display in the comment section of any pc video ask them for a single great pc exclusive and all you get is garbage rated games games old as hell crap looking indie games freemium trash games multi-platform games they're too fucking stupid to realize aren't pc exclusives because you know the only thing that matters when you're playing video games is how many exclusives your platform has. But you know, we're not going to get into that because we need to go ahead and check out this absolute masterpiece of an argument that he has put together for us to look through here today and go through all 30 of these points individually and just become enlightened on why console gaming is so much more superior to anything PC gaming could ever hope to offer. So let's go ahead and dive balls deep into this shit. So kicking off the list here at number one, we have have access to every third-party game that is optimized unlike PC. One could argue that console is a lot more unoptimized considering that you have to play most games, at least AAA games for the most part, at 30 FPS when I can play at 60 or higher on my PC with no problem. So most of the open world games on console that they claim are 30 FPS, those motherfuckers frame rates drop faster than a brick if you threw it off the Empire State Building. You know, great argument here. But moving on to number two, looks virtually indistinguishable to even the best PCs. I mean, this is a joke, right? Like, have you seen The Witcher 3 on the Switch versus PC? Have you seen Overwatch on the Switch versus PC? Have you seen Destiny 2 on console versus on PC at 144 hertz? Like, it looks like a generational leap, but, you know, it's virtually indistinguishable, guys, because after all, the human eye can't see above 23 FPS anyway, or so console fanboys say. But moving on to number three, runs amazing without any problems or having to adjust any settings. Now, I don't really adjust settings on my PC. Most games games like auto optimize I'll maybe like turn up the FOV turn off motion blur but that's about fucking it bro like I don't really do shit most games like automatically adapt to your hardware and on top of that I mean we already talked about how frame rates drop on console way more than on PC but you know we're not gonna beat a dead horse at this point but apparently consoles have no issues whatsoever I just kind of find that very fucking ironic when I've had more problems with console hardware than I have ever had with my PC so I don't really know what to fucking think here but moving on to number four have access to top rated games that are some of the highest score highest selling game of the year winners not on pc i mean by this logic everyone should be playing on the fucking nintendo switch and no other platform because it has the highest rated games the highest selling games and they get a ton of game of the year awards so you know why is everybody just not playing on nintendo switch exclusively with this logic but you know there is no logic here number five have access to games that look better than anything on pc that have won awards for technical 
critical achievement and visuals first party and exclusives. I mean, if you're really trying to claim that there are games on console that look better than anything on PC, you might have terminal eye cancer and you need to get that shit checked out, bro. Like I'm concerned for your health. Like if we're really gonna try and claim this shit, like provide an actual example because I guarantee you there are games on PC that look better than anything on console. Like that's not even a fucking question, bro. There's so much more you could do with PC hardware versus console hardware. I mean, the frame rate alone to me makes games look better in and of itself because when you play a game at 30 and then you play it at 144 hertz, 30 FPS looks like a fucking slideshow. Like that's not even cap, bro. Like try it out for yourself. Number six, have access to amazing games in every genre outside of MMORPGs, RTS, and Sims, which mobile smartphones could do. We have now reached a new low where someone is arguing that consoles having less game variety than a fucking cell phone, dude. Apparently that is a win for consoles. You know, PCs having more game genres is somehow a negative in the comparison between consoles and PC gaming. Just let that shit sink in for a minute. Like this dude is literally saying that consoles are better than PC because consoles don't have games that are on PC and fucking cell phones. You really can't make this shit up. Moving on to number seven, have online with a moderated community free of cheating mods and aimbot. I mean, I don't really see how consoles are free of that shit when they have the same problems, but you know, moving on here. Free games every month as part of PSN. They're not free. You're paying for them. Ability to appear offline. You could do that shit on PC. What the fuck? Easily share game clips. I don't think it gets much easier than saving game clips on PC. And parental controls. What are you fucking eight, bro? Like, are you really worried about being able to play M games or some shit? Does mommy not trust you? Well worth $4 a month. That's right. Everything you can get on PC for free. We should definitely pay for that shit. I mean, even Epic Games, you know, the fucking Fortnite store gives out better games than a paid service like PSN. Let that shit sink in. Number eight, with the Switch, be able to play anywhere, put the game in the cradle, take it with me traveling, etc. Even the PS4 is small enough to transport on business trips of play in hotels. Good luck transporting your gaming rig. Well, there's a thing called a fucking laptop, dude. I bring mine with me every single day to work. I take it with me in my backpack when I leave the house and I definitely take it with me on trips and I can play games with that shit better than a PS4 so I don't really know what your fucking point is here. Apparently this man has never heard of the idea of a fucking gaming laptop but you know, again, we're dealing with someone very intelligent as you've probably been able to tell from everything we've read through so far and trust me, it's only gonna get better. No need to upgrade any hardware for seven to eight years and still get the best looking games. That's right, because the PS4 Pro, Xbox Series X really exemplify that mentality perfectly, bro. Why didn't they just stick to the base Xbox One and PS4 if that's the case, but what do I know, man? I'm just a fucking PC elitist. I'm desperately trying to damage control for my preferred platform, and this dude obviously knows better. Number 10, local multiplayer and social gaming. I'm not forced to sit alone, hunched over a desk. Consoles have always been a social experience with friends playing sports games, fighting games, party games, co-op games, up to four players on one system. You can do all that shit on PC. You can hook it up to a TV. We all know this shit. I'm not gonna fuck and break this down point by point because it's fucking retarded. Moving on to number 11. When a console comes out, it's the best tech on the market until PCs play catch up and even then they don't have developers making games for new PC tech. I'm gonna have to press X to down on that shit. Like the new consoles are not even gonna come close to a 2080 Ti so don't even fucking at me on that shit. Number 12. Far better development as console developers have the best in the business or buy studios timed exclusive exclusives content. This is probably one of the most incoherent sentences I think I've ever read in my entire life, but you know, moving on to number 13 here, you know who made the PS4 and Switch? Billion dollar companies with access to the best technology and engineers in the business. You know who made your gaming rig? You, a dipshit with access to eBay and cheap old parts. It's no wonder that after seven years, Sony developers can make The Last of Us 2 better than anything on PC. That didn't fucking age well. Or Nintendo could put out amazing looking games on the system, a fraction of the size of your keyboard that's portable. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, man. You know, I think some cell phone games look better than Switch games at times, but, you know, it's whatever, dude. Like, this shit is stupid as fuck. Like, I didn't even build my PC. I had, like, a professional company build it, and it turned out a lot better. I mean, I think it's just 
really interesting. I've had legitimate hardware problems with PS3s and my Xbox Series X in the past, and I've never had a single problem with my PC so far. So, you know, I think I'll stick with PC when it comes to the, you know, the quality control versus a mass-produced console and an individually custom-made PC like the one that I ordered from NZXT Build. Great service, by the way. But moving on here to number 14, physical copies of games or access to a huge online gaming library. I can actually have and sell the game rather than just have it on a Steam account, whatever. I really don't give a shit about physical games. Like back in 2015, I finally realized, yeah, I'm a lazy motherfucker. I don't want to get up to change the disc anymore. I went digital and I've never looked fucking back. And then when I moved over to PC in like, what, 2018, it was like a natural progression because for the past three years, I hadn't bought a game on disc anyway, so I didn't really give a shit. But you know, I guess if you like physical games, that's fine. But most people don't really give a shit anymore. Number 15, trophies and achievements for every game. PC has that. Shut the fuck up. Number 16, innovation. Oh, fuck, dude. Are we talking about Apple now? From creating genres to analog sticks, VR. Yeah, bullshit. The console created VR. To motion controls, to rumble, touchpads. Who the fuck wants a touchpad? Like, the PS4 touchpad is fucking garbage. Wireless controllers. Consoles are constantly evolving, while PC has been the exact same point and click shit forever. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, I guess you could say the consoles are playing catch up to PC because, you know, you have the literal perfect input controls when it comes to keyboard and mouse, and consoles are constantly trying to, like, actually imitate that to the best of their ability with the very limited functionality that a controller has. But moving on to number 17, you can invite friends to your game with the share play on PS4, even if they don't have the game. Can't you do that shit on Steam now? I'm pretty sure, like, they have that fucking Steam remote play or whatever the fuck. I don't know. I haven't really looked into it. I never used that feature when I had a PS4, so I really don't give a fuck about it, but, you know, if that's something you like, cool, whatever. I highly doubt that's gonna have any impact on anyone making the decision whether or not they're gonna buy a console versus a PC, but anyway. Number 18, you can buy all three consoles, though you don't really need an X-Bone, as its exclusives library is straight up shit this generation, and a Raspberry Pi for a better and multiplayer emulation experience. Any probably a tablet slash laptop for cheaper than a gaming PC. Boomer laughing face emoji. Now, this is, again, probably one of the most well-constructed sentences. I think I've seen it a very long time, like, Jesus Christ, but hard fucking X that you can buy all that shit for cheaper than a gaming PC because you can spend whatever the fuck you want on a gaming PC. There's no, like, minimum price you have to spend, but if you add all that shit up, you're looking at at least $1,500, and you can get a beast of a rig for $1,500. But anyway, moving on to number 19, timed exclusives. Getting third-party games months, if not years before they're ported to PC. Like, I don't really give a shit. I'll just wait for the fucking game. Like, it's really not that deep, bro. It's a video game. It's not like fucking life-saving medicine or some shit. I can live without playing a video game for a couple months. Like, Jesus Christ, get some fucking perspective. But anyway, number 20, exclusive content. Some companies give exclusive content and bonuses to buy the console version. Never fucking heard of this shit unless Sony pays for like a marketing deal and you get like an exclusive skin in Assassin's Creed or some dumb shit like that. Number 21, great franchises. That's fucking subjective. Moving on. 22, notable icons, mascots, and characters. You know, I think we might be dealing with a furry here. He really loves those mascot characters on PlayStation, dude. I mean, if he was a furry, that would definitely explain why he's not exactly the brightest bulb in the box, bro. Like, those motherfuckers are not exactly known for being intelligent. Number 23, PC has little to no Japanese support. Bullshit, it has more than PlayStation at this point. PlayStation is the only fucking platform that actively censors Japanese games. Not even Nintendo is doing that shit, so I'm calling bullshit on that. 25, consoles don't get viruses, hackers, etc. That is fake news. 26, consoles are more mainstream and focused on including the focus of every major gaming expo. Well, I wouldn't really say that because I'd say computers are much more mainstream than video game consoles, technically speaking, but what the fuck does gaming conventions have to do with anything? Like, motherfucker, I don't want to go anywhere near those things. Like, I don't personally want to be in a room with a bunch of sweaty nerds dressed up as video game characters that smell like rotten cottage cheese because they don't fucking bathe. Like, personally, that's not really for me. I don't need to experience that shit to enjoy video games, but you do you, man. 27. PS4 has better VR. I'm not even gonna justify that shit with a response. 28. Console OS works. Windows sucks dick. I mean, it's all of the personal preference. I don't really give a shit what you think. Personally, I like Windows way better. It's much more intense. 
intuitive. It's much faster to get around than console OS's, but whatever, dude, it's up to your opinion. Number 29, have actual customer support and warranties. I'm just gonna say this. Consoles come with a one-year warranty. My PC came with a two-year warranty. Enough fucking said at that point. And finally, guys, to wrap this shit up, we have number 30. Now, this is the exact same point. He ended his previous comment thread with when I made a video on this previously, and that, of course, is being able to win arguments on forums and YouTube because you're a console gamer arguing against PC slobs who all seem to be poor foreigners, little kids, mentally ill, and or have absolute shit taste in games. Being able to link to game rankings, Metacritic, dozens of awards from around the gaming industry, rather than spouting off specs or the word subjective with zero evidence. PC, boomer laughing face emoji times five. You know, this really just brought it all full circle. I'm glad we could end this video the exact same way we ended the previous one because I have to say, man, this comment has been so enlightening. I learned so much reading through this, especially for a second time on a lot of these points. Like, it really has drilled it into my head that PC gaming, as this dude's name suggests, is completely fucking dead, dude. The PS5, Xbox Series X, Nintendo Switch have made PC gaming completely fucking irrelevant. And at this point, there's literally no reason to own a gaming PC. So I'm gonna go donate my PC to Goodwill because I honestly have no use for this shit. And let's face it, I probably can't even sell it at this point because after this video goes up, the word is gonna spread across the internet that PC gaming is fucking dead and the only thing you need in your life is a PS5, dude. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like on it. I would greatly appreciate it. It does help out the channel a bunch. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. You know, just full of positivity and happiness, dude. You know, you're enjoying quarantine if you're still on it. It seems like everything's opened up in my area and it seems to kind of be the trend around the country. I don't fucking know, but whatever you're doing, hope you all are having a great summer. Thanks for stopping by the video as always and for all the recent support as well. And I will catch you guys next time.